Here is Elizabeth that the child inside of her is responding to the presence of the Lord that's inside of Mary. And look at what the scripture says later on in Luke chapter 1. The scripture says that, and the baby within me jumped for joy. You see, John understood what was happening and John began to feel the presence of the Lord as he just begins to dance around. It's getting Pentecostal up in here. If y'all hadn't noticed, the first Christmas was Pentecostal. But it doesn't just end there. Hold up. We ain't finished yet. So here you have Elizabeth. Elizabeth shouting, Woo! Glory to God. Then you have John the Baptist in his mother's womb and he's just dancing. And then you have Mary. Mary comes in, and the inward feeling that she has is an outward expression to where she begins to sing. You see, there's something in the midst of all of this. In spite of the stress that the situations were causing, in spite of the uncertainty that they were going through, there was joy inside of all three of these people. And it happened as a result of the presence of the Holy Spirit that was producing the joy in their lives. I go back in my mind and how come it is within our own lives that even though things are bad, we still feel like we got a song within our heart. The children of Israel were at a place where as they were, as they were in Babylon in the captivity, they put their, their harps on the willow trees. You see, you can allow the enemy to do a lot, but don't allow him to take your song. Because that song is where you'll find strength, because in that song there is joy. And if you can sing, that's why I'm...